Pagans, um, I'm posting a reply to Anya Pagans' uh, post on books you can read uh, to educate yourself further in wherever you want to educate yourself in. I have many Christian books, I have some pagan books, I have some Hindu books. Um, I've checked out many different kind of uh, theological study books from the library. Uh, very good reading. I've been a student of theology for a little over 10 years now. I know quite a bit about theology. Anyway, there is several books that I keep with me. Um, this one I just got into. The Grimoire for the Apprentice Wizard by Oberon Zell. Very, very well done. It uh, doesn't put a lot of heavy religious overtones in, on it. He just teaches you about what your journey can be through magic. Um, and also his little, uh, like I, I call it the, the Wizard Scout Manual, the Companion for the Prince Wizard. It has a lot of neat little de deals in there. It kind of, kind of mimics the grimoire, but not too much. It has a little new things, too. Uh, learning how to recharge yourself, your chakras, all this stuff. Uh, there's one called Wheels of Life. I haven't really gotten into this uh, quite yet. I've been experimenting with meditation so far. Um, I'll be getting into this real soon. I just picked that one up. I've been having some problems with um, empathic um, dealings with myself. I mean, I'm, I feel I'm a natural empath. Um, a lot of things I work around is pretty negative, and it's just been driving me crazy. So I've been trying to find a better way to uh, work through these things. Also, um, here's a real neat little book I picked up. Well, not so little by any means. It's a huge book. Uh, this is... Um, the Essential Natural Health Bible, and it's the complete home guide to herbs, oils, nutritional remedies, and nutrition, or natural remedies and nutrition. I mean, you don't have to pick up anything that is geared towards Wicca or New Age in order to actually find something that is still very good and also time tested to uh, actually write a huge book on this. Um, here's another one. Um, a uh, this is a prescription for nutritional healing. I have a third edition. I'm pretty sure there's a couple newer ones here. And this is a practical guide a to Z, reference to a drug-free remedies using vitamins, minerals, herbs, and food supplements. Very nice to have. Once again, it's a big book. And it's helped me a lot with a lot of things I don't want to take drugs for. Drugs are bad. Okay. But anyway, um... Back to this, um, yes, I do own a Scott Cunningham book, as you do as well, on you. And it's a pretty neat little deal. I mean, it has a lot to do with uh, divinations and stuff. I just picked this up for my theological studies. Good enough. Why not? Um, I'm not Wiccan. I'm not necessarily Christian. Buddhist, Hindu, whatever. Uh, seems like uh, throughout all my studies that everything kind of mimics each other in all major religions. Um, so I don't prescribe to any one religion. I prescribe to there is a creator and that's that. And I do pay homage to the creator who I tag or give the tag to as God. So and no, I don't do any violence in his name either. It's just wrong. So, um, what else um, have I picked up? Oh, I picked up uh, cryptozoological books. That's kind of fun reading. I mean, you know, 
maybe some of these creatures may not exist. Maybe they could. I mean, we don't know. We have Bigfoot up here in Washington State up in the Northwest. Lots of sightings. No solid proof. But anyway, um, it's uh, fun to find new books, find new perspectives. They don't always have to be a Wiccan book or um, a wizard book or even a Bible. It's, it's just things that you find. Anyway, yeah. And I think it's kind of interesting that you talk about cats. I gotta tell you, I own one myself. Or, better yet, he owns me. This is my boy. My little guy. Well, not so little. He's about 25 pounds. And pretty solid. Uh, this guy's name is Shendin. He's been my cat for seven years. Or I've been his human for seven years. It doesn't really matter what you take into perspective on that. But he is a beautiful silver tab Russian blue mix. And my best friend in the whole wide world. I mean, no matter what, I come home. This guy just wants to love on me no matter what. So, we still got to figure out who owns who. That's just the way it is with cats. But anyway, y'all have a good night. God bless, blessed be.